This tutorial is going to show you how to make cross stitch effect lettering in Illustrator um, and we're going to use a pre-made cross stitch template. Um, so the first thing you need to do is find the cross stitch template and open that up in Illustrator. So I'm just going to drag that down into Illustrator to open it up. Um, once you've got that open you'll need to locate your um, the motif that you're going to use to create your cross stitch image. So I'm going to use just a simple um, letter A. So what you need to do is just drag that in. Um, once you've got it in place, if you want to just move it around, so you um, put it anywhere really, um, and then just zoom in so that you can just see it a little bit closer. And um, the next thing you'll need to do is to send the object um, to the back so that the cross stitch bits are in front. So if you go into object, arrange and send to back and then you'll be able to see the cross stitches in the middle but we want to see all the ones on the black lines as well. Um, so what you need to do is just select all. So if you go into select all and up in the opacity section here if we just lower that to about 75 then we should be able to see um, all of the cross stitch bits through it as well. So if we just then deselect that, so if we just go to deselect, so you can see here now we can see some of these crosses as well. Okay, so now we can start colouring, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer as well, because what we're going to need to do is to individually select each of the crosses um, before you colour them. So if you're wanting to maybe colour, I'm going to just show you how to colour this whole letter one colour, and obviously you can play around with um, different variations on that on your own design. What you need to do is just select each of those. If you hold down the shift key on your keypad, then you'll be able to so see I'm just going to zoom in again because that's still not quite close enough. Um, you'll be able to just keep selecting lots of different crosses all in one go. Um, so you just keep doing that until you've got the amount of them selected that you want um, all to be the same colour. So I've selected all of them on this example here. Once you've got them selected, if you go into um, the colour boxes up here, and then we're just going to select um, a colour, and you can see all of those instantly changing. So we'll just change um, both of those. <clears throat> um, once you've done that, you can deselect again. Um, so if you hold down the shift key and the command key and A, that will deselect. So you can see we're just left now with the crosses that have changed colour. So to get rid of those background images to start, if you select just one of the crosses at the side and then go into select, same um, and do stroke colour, it will select all the other crosses that haven't been coloured and you can just delete those then. So then we're left almost with the motif that we want. So then we just want to select our motif that we started with and delete that and then we're left with quite a nice cross stitch letter. So obviously my letter maybe wasn't the best example and you can vary and um, play around with that, put different colours in to get a little bit more definition, but that's the sort of process. It's a little bit long winded but I think the outcome could be quite exciting so if you want to give that a go and see how you get on, that would be great.